Pathfinder Kingmaker. I'm uh, not sure if I would recommend it. Uh, I don't think I would. No, it, I enjoyed it. I don't think I'd recommend it. It's so slow. It's it feels super slow to me personally. Uh, I would recommend the original Sin too, though. What I did like about it though, if you took the wrong path, you straight up died. <laughs> they didn't baby mode it for you. Yep. Like okay, cool. Well, there's the dragon. So good luck with that. It's the Dark work. Souls of CRBD. Didn't ask me. God bless. Uh, sure. Should we do a last minute coffee grab? That is up to you. If you want to grab some co coffee, then go be coffee. Some coffee. Wait for BG three. Cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. I shall grab right. some tea real quick. I'm gonna yeah. go grab a coffee. Grab whatever you want. <clears throat> I'm yeah. gonna incorporate all the new changes that have happened in the Boulder's Gate three. Uh, probably the, the the because Wizard of the Coast is directly working on it. I imagine they want to keep things pretty close um, to chest. Yeah, well, not close to chest, but like just keep things like right. true to most recent iteration. Which I know they said they were gonna <coughs> make the mechanics more. Yeah, they basically tweak friendly. the mechanics. Yeah, which makes sense. Which makes sense. I imagine, you know, but they might, but they might do. I'm not sure. I'm saying they will do it, but they, what they might do is they might actually put in like, or in, like actual, like more classical mechanic. But then it's just like this is what you're signing up for, sort of deal. So like in the, in oh, the case of Pathfinder Kingmaker, like there are a series of settings which is like this is as close <laughs> to actual um, Pathfinder statistics and stuff like that as you're gonna get, like a, ser a certain like enemy stat scale setting and stuff like that. Um, they might do that for Borders Gate 3. Maybe. My god, could you imagine that? If the difficulties what? were like, easy, 4th edition. <laughs> Medium, 5th edition. Hard, 3.5 edition. Super difficult, 1st edition. Chainmail. That'd be, that'd be the best. I am. I'm. I'm curious for uh, Borders Gate Three. I'm always hesitant on CRPGs in general, though, because like I feel like I am not necessarily the target audience for it, so it, it takes like a good bit of effort, I guess, like or circumstance for me to like get into it. Because like I don't know. Because I played through all of Tyranny, and that game was like only like forty hours. But I loved it. Maybe it's because I like playing the bad guy. But like then I pick up Pathfinder and I'm like, this is to learn. It's slow. Could I play a bad guy? Probably. By the same time, I'm like, eh. It's like, yeah, sure, you have options here, but it's just you being sassy. It doesn't affect the story. So it's like Fallout. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But tyranny, oh tyranny. You actually, they, they literally from the, the get go. You get to do like a pseudo military campaign of like your own personal military feats up until like that led up to where like you begin in the main game. And it's like, oh, because you're what they call a you know, fate binder, meaning you get scrolls from your boss, these scrolls unleash apocalypse. You're the one that delivers them. Anyone that tries to stop you is likely to die, either by you or by the people that are supposed to you know, work with you. Do you get a Why? sweet horse or. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, you went to the Vellum Citadel, this massive library. Oh, what did you do with it? Did you order the mages to stand out, or did you just set the whole fucking place on fire, because fuck them? <laughs> mages, you have one day to everything you have. If you do not do so, you will die. Your research will die with you. Your citadel will burn. It seems the mages have... They didn't, they didn't surrender, sir. Faithbinder, sir. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Give me. Where's my scroll? Fucking. It's like opening an Elder Scroll. Fuck you to that place over there in specific. And then you actually get to see later in the game. It's like, oh yeah, this is where the Realm Citadel was. Was. Ooh. And then people around the place are like, hey, wait a minute. Aren't you the guy? And you're like, yeah, I'm the guy. Would you like me to be the guy again? No, sir. That's why I fucking thought. Get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> you are that. You want to like, take I, two, motherfucker? I a hundred. I a hundred percent quite a lawful. E These are the laws of the land. Did you break them? Yes. Execute them. Did you help him break the laws of the land? Yes. Execute them. 
That's that was just my character. Hundred percent dead. dead. Yeah, and it's like, oh, the you know, lieutenant, the big superior lieutenants are fighting each other. Okay, who wronged the who wronged each other first? He did. Fuck you. You're good, but fuck you. I can't execute you yet, but I'll get there. Yet. I killed that fucking right yet, and I was like, justice delivered once again in the glorious hands of tyranny. All right, back. Welcome hey. back. It's your boy. Yeah. I recommend Tyranny. The combat system is better than Pose, the first Pose of Eternity. I don't play Pose of Eternity 2, though. But it is, you know, something along those, you know, very classic RPG styles. And again, you get to play a bad guy. It's like, oh, are, 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 it's like, oh, these are uh, Freedom Fires. Oh, fr Freedom Fires, yes? You mean Rebels? Rest. Yeah. You mean Bandits? Sounds like Rebels to me. <laughs> you mean Bandits? I love this. In the very begin, the very first like bit of the game, you go to uh, this tower. This tower has been originally under tyrannical control, but it was taken by rebels. And then two forces were deployed to get it. You know, one which is basically this raving, pillaging, huge legion mass, and then the other one was like this, you know, sophisticated, you know, uh, very well trained you know, Roman legion esque force, but it's much smaller. And both sides are actually facing each other because they keep sabotaging each other's efforts, and you get deployed there. And you actually just go there, go to both of their bosses, that the leaders, you come, open up the scroll, and it's like, because on your way in, a landslide happened. It's like, everyone in this valley will die in three days if you do not take that spire. And then they, both the big bosses look at each other like, everyone in this valley will die. Yes. Including you. Yes. You have three days to take that spire, gentlemen. I don't. I'm, I'm not keen on dying, but I am keen on the word of law. Law has been decreed. Take the spire in three days, or you and all your forces die here. And that happens in the very first bit of the game. Like, how fucking badass is that? That you get to go to like basic. I like pick, finding two five-star generals and just being like, "Fuck you, yeah, fuck your forces. Me. Work together or die together. One or the other." If not, then, you know, I'm just going to sit here drinking my tea as we all die. Delicious. And I'm like, it's so fucking good. You feel like so fucking badass. So yeah, we'd recommend Tyranny. Do you know an ancient dragon in first edition had like 64 hit points? Jeez. You could oh, take yeah, that How much turn. damage did we do, though? Yeah. How much damage did we do? Well, everything did 1d6. Ooh. So what you're saying is, like, know. 10 turns at least. Okay. Well, 1d6 <clears throat> per person, get a number of people. people, high AC, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, oh, 10 turns good. is probably Take good, down, but it, will you live that long? Uh, and I'm pretty I sure guess. you only had, like, 10. You, you had dick all for health and AC. Oh, I mean, you literally, yeah, you literally just died. Uh, Good old oh, first edition. Uh, a, a, a breath weapon could do 72 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> up to so it could do like higher. three times more than your health maximum. I don't gotcha. think you got HP he... after fifth level. Why? Yeah. yeah. Because you're only a mortal, silly. So if you live, limits your pathetic, level. weak mortal body. So that's why everyone has backup lived... characters constantly. Cool. Dude, if you lived past fifth level, you're basically. <laughs> you're a god. <laughs> Well, a very fleshy god, but a god nonetheless. You, you are a legend. No, you, no, you're not a god. You're a king. Ah, you're there. a king. Matter of yes. fact, that's literally how it is. It is. Like, adventurer, hero, superhero, legend. Like those were like those are the, the categories. Levels, yeah, I, I think I might go and find it. Like, because they had them named. Round one. Oh, and also dwarfs, elves, and halflings, which were hobbits, didn't have classes. They just had monster levels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your your class was elf. <laughs> class <laughs> elf. Your class elf. Dwarf. No, yeah. I remember playing Basic Fantasy where it was that. Was it, it was like it was. It's like it's old school D and D, but streamlined to be faster to learn and pick up. But it would still have that level of lethality. And that's why I played my racist necromancer, and it was great. Wasn't it like cleric <laughs> didn't get spells <laughs> until like years. second or third level? I, I had spells at first level as a necromancer. They were oh, really cleric, good. It's not necromancer. 
Clerks are probably well, Clerks are full cast. I think they fell in the same deal as me. The first but, character uh, that I played in any RPG was uh, Necromancer in Diablo 2. Of course. Hell yeah. Speaking of bringing back the dead, how does that transition <laughs> into this at all? Oh wait, because now, I got, I got shit it, right. it connected. Uh, yep, it made sense. But first, before we get to bringing back the dead or putting them back down or word from our sponsors, a word from our sponsors, Great Shadow Legends, <laughs> every YouTuber <laughs> ever. Yep. I remember when it was yeah, in all seriousness. In all seriousness, the what? My friend, as I assassinate Asonia, as I always do, speaking as of his tradition, bring her back to life. You guys went to a party, if I were correct. How'd that go? I like that, yep. Ominous silence. Fred. <laughs> Fred. He's waiting for the music. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, we are, we are, right. gotcha. Here you go. The video we're just into. Yes. <laughs> some small part of me have expected to see some trace of her, uh, a gathering of nobles, even across the ocean. And where it is coin and power in abundance, her walk has always found purchase. Yet, to expect is not the quite same thing as to see. And when I saw the rings on Lord Jundas's hands, I realized with certainty that I can no longer run from my past. Nowhere on this plane will there be a place where I am not reminded of her and of my own failings. It would seem Lord Adil and I share far more than a common language. As for the other nobles, I have been with other such, within other such viper nests before. All boons come with their own brand of venom. The trick is finding a bite that will not kill if you are to make the antidote. If I were a gambling man, I would place my wager on Lucille and Adelaide of the Unbridled. I prefer cards over dice, and perhaps that is why I find solace in Aminius' council. Alas, I have other vipers to worry about the, the nobles. Rivals and employers conniving my ruin in the past. An unseen enemy who strikes without a blade in the present and dreams of fire in the future. No, I shall not despair. This pin, this ruby sword is my reminder. Rashin's friendship. Sandra's penchant for confusing jokes. Weiss's banter <laughs> with all of us. Atgur's gradual growth as a person. Abigail and Verik finding their footing. Ah, I must also not forget Aminius' refreshing sass. It is good to have family on this side of the ocean as well. If somebody seeks to use me to torture my mind, they shall soon see the strength of desert wrought iron. Come with me. I am a sword in the hands of seven friends. Sand take all. For now, the time has come, I feel. I must tell them how I came to leave the exchange. I ask all of you, my dear players, where do you want to start out today? Night? Day? The night of the soiree? The day after? Nursing some uh, hangovers, probably? Yeah, I feel like I most could... of us were pretty much dead. <laughs> I could start with some breakfast. Mm -hmm. Let's have a nice quiet morning. Yeah. Well, as quiet as they ever are. <laughs> if you're not quiet, Aminius, Sandra will start uh, smacking uh, you. Aminius <laughs> is now Rick James. I mean, secure the night. Beric did say he was going to make us. He did. Uh, he, did, uh, did. he did. And he is true to his word, and he did uh, concoct up some hangover, some quick hangover cures. Not that they're pleasant to imbibe, but they are effective. <laughs> you note that this time, though, he hasn't provided you a chaser to wash the taste out of your mouth, so you do curse him for that. But you know, you're you're happy for the first bit. Did he do it yeah. because he he didn't have time, or because he was intentionally not? You know that he <laughs> has one. <laughs> that is just a different. Yeah. 
So, you are all at in the form of the wake up slap, uh, which I now have a new idea of what that might be because I found out there's actually Russian slapping tournaments and Jesus oh, Christ, yes. they're funny as fuck. <laughs> they are. So just watch their hands go just down. They slap each other and just <laughs> take slaps. Oh, uh, so funny. But luckily, you're not being slapped by the reigning champ, which I think his name is uh, Vasily. Yeah, yeah. Uh, big brute of a man, and I, he actually has one hit KO'd a bunch of people. Mm. It's a wake up slap, and it is not in the form of a um, Nevros man giving you a huge ass slap to the face. Uh, it is a slap of a disgusting hangover cure, followed by coffee, or my bad, coffee, tea, breakfast burritos, meat pies, what? whatever you <laughs> so desire. So. You guys are all on the outside little pav uh, pavilion, having moved a number of, you know, metal grate tables and seats over. Acker sitting at the head of the table because you don't, I don't think there's enough space for him to sit in between <laughs> you guys. <laughs> <body can sit. laughs> yeah. Um, Varric and Abby have done their due diligences, their diligences in grabbing you guys food and just setting it across the table. Basically, free for all of grab whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> that was nice of you guys. Abigail just holds up this mimosa she has. <laughs> Cheers! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still partying, yeah. I see. Breakfast of champion. Yeah. I mean, you don't get hangovers if you're still drunk, right? <laughs> Well, that, and plus I know he, and she points out Varric, still has some more hangover cures. Is that what we call a liquid lunch? Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> That's <laughs> terrible. Liquid lunch is like a milkshake. What's that? Oh, bless, like, we never showed them what a milkshake is. You can drink it. Imagine ice cream, milk, but milk. Oh, milk, milk, you like, drink milk. What kind of... Be brave, Richard. Of course you can drink milk. He's time this time is for it. I just said this. Bless his heart, really. Bless his heart. There's a few more steps in there than just drinking a glass of milk. Yeah. It's like... I mean, sweet. it's... Yeah. <laughs> Some what? pigeons... Come in and grab some uh, crumb, breadcrumbs from Russian. Not sure if I'd recommend that. Those flying rats have enough as it is. <laughs> so, what's the plan today then? Other than apparently she holds up the mimosa, potentially getting more drunk later. Um, right now it's going to be holding down my breakfast, but other than that... <laughs> we should probably do some type of job. I would have also recommend this. Mm. Do we I have find to, this agreeable. <laughs> okay. But uh, before we do anything decisive, major, I feel that there is... Um, Something I should share with all of you. Ooh. Hmm. Gossip? In a way. Yeah, okay. Double O. Yeah, triple O. This has to do with uh, why I had to leave the exchange. And uh, mm -hmm. eventually come here. Uh, many years ago, when I first left the safety of my home to explore the world, I worked for many years as a mercenary. The reason for this was because I needed the, the gold. I wanted to set up my own jewelry shop, and I eventually did. Mm -hmm. I had it in the exchange. Not prime real estate by any means, but a reasonably affluent area. Uh, for the first few years, uh, 
I found success thanks to the rediscovery of a type of uh, casting method that I had uh, discovered in ancient ruins. Many wanted to get in on the secret, as you can imagine. Uh, with wealth comes not only fortune, but uh, rivals and other problems. Uh, many times uh, people try to steal my secret, but they quickly learned that uh, violence does not work. Uh, some called me the bladed jeweler, and I had customers in my shop every day just for the spectacle of it. Uh, it was during this time that I met the person I mentioned uh, yesterday to Lord Jundas, the very person who made the rings he wore on his fingers, well, some of them. What's that fella's name again? Her name is uh, Khalil. Khalil Al Salaf. I remember you mentioning her. Didn't you say you were um, rivals? Yes. Yeah. She is as talented a goldsmith as she is an artisan with gemstones. A very capable person. And uh, perhaps it is. Uh, yes. There was a noble woman who came to the two of us because we had our shops on the same district, you could say. Her, uh, she wanted a very specific piece of jewelry, uh, like a, what is the word, um, a centerpiece for her newest outfit for some uh, thing or other. I'm much too, probably like the thing we went to yesterday, I would imagine. A hosting of nobles or some such, I don't know. It, in any case, she wanted to see who among Kali and I were the best. Confident in our skill, we both accepted. Uh, I gave it my all. Uh, it was uh, uh, the, the big break I ne would need to strike, reach, to make it into a the highest echelon of, uh, you know, making filthy amounts of money. <laughs> <laughs> I revised my journal, revisited it, summoned memories from uh, the tomb in which I found it, and channeled my experience into making a necklace fit for an empress. It was gold with uh, a large ruby faceted into a bed of onyx. It was a very nice piece of jewelry. Uh, she was very pleased, and uh, I got handsomely rewarded for my effort. Unless on the day of the actual event, an incident of some kind occurred. It is my understanding that a spell of some kind had been placed on the gem uh, uh, after the item had left my hands. I learned of this uh, when people came knocking on my door and accused me of abiding in the abduction of a noble lady. Suffice it to say that uh, <sighs> she hit the fan big time. So it's kind of like what happened with the uh, wise over here a while ago. In a sense, I suppose. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Magic. Tell you true. I mean, oh, so it like sucked her into a wee uh, no, uh, I don't know the exact nature of what happened. I just know that uh, the spell facilitated her adoption. I very keen on clearing myself of any sort of suspicion and blame. I had little choice but to swear my service to her next of kin, her closest relatives, and I vowed not to rest until she had been returned or found. I did not think it would take a whole year. Mm -hmm. I donned my mercenary's mantle, so to speak, and uh, eventually found her and returned her safely to her family. But uh, in order to do that, I had to turn for help. Uh, and I turned to a former employer of mine. I have mentioned him. Uh, the, it was the man I asked about, I mean, yes. That one time when you read the cards for me. Oh, yes. Yes. I may not like uh, Parakeet. His methods are too callous, but he is competent. 
and he pays well and he always has paid well I would not have found it uh, and her without Parakeet, if I'm honest. Uh, well, at any rate, my bond absolved. I um, uh, I was free to go, and uh, I was free of guilt and blame. But a year had passed, and I had to sell my shop, my workshop as well, to cover the damages for my indirect involvement and also to grease the palms of uh, corrupt people, pay bribes, you know how it is. <laughs> the only possessions I could afford to keep was my weapons, my tools, and my gambeson. Perhaps now you know why I'm so fond of gambeson. <laughs> yes. At the time I took comfort in knowing my shop uh, would be sold to Khalil, or at least in her possession it would be put to good use. And if her craftsmanship has reached this side of the ocean, it would seem that is indeed true. So there it is. That is why I had to leave the exchange and come here. So after all that, you just head on over here to strike it rich again? Yes. Yeah. And seemingly something followed you. Perhaps. I do not know what though. I mean, I have worked for other people, many people. Made a few enemies, but none that are this capable. I don't know. Mm -hmm. oh, that's an interesting turn of events. Given how things have been lately, I, it felt wrong not to tell you. Now you know my past, or most of it. Well, thanks for telling us. And thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Time. I do not expect to find uh, such a revolutionary discovery that is once in a lifetime, but uh, inspiration to make a collection of uh, things to return with at some point in the future when I'm if I survive all this that is or perhaps a top shop here I do not know we shall see yeah you find it it's funny like that isn't it uh, pardon the minions what was that oh so you do Ongoing cut out. <laughs> You're cutting out. Oh, sorry. Um, I said to go. <laughs> You're still I really. I said out. cut out. <laughs> uh, I think she said maybe. I'm not going back. The the thought of returning is something that I have uh, considered many times, but uh, uh, feel like a fire. I don't think it is. I don't have the coin. To return and i do not have the time or the influence to rebuild what i have lost over there it would take many many years and more coin than would fit in this bag of holding i'm sure yeah. realistically it is a it, it is a pleasant daydream the next 10 or so years i would probably be more wise to hey. set up something uh, here in Drift to Respe. After all, yeah. it is where I have you. Aww. No oh, shucks. Stop so it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie. Part of me thought you were gonna go back to the temple and take all the gold and leave. Well, that's rude. 
Well, you did seem very enamored with that fish, didn't you? <laughs> Beric stares pointedly at some of you. The thought did cross my mind, yes. What? Okay, okay, at least I wasn't just like throwing it out there for the wrong Okay, just. You, you're, you're trying there to help those, um, hmm. There were those fish. You could try asking about those. Not a bunch of coin, but. I think that's. That's kind of like their lock and key to get into the place. I don't think he's exactly fond of sharing. Wouldn't he want the key to be somewhere really far away, though? I mean, as long as you don't understand how to get past the lock, I don't think it particularly matters. I mean, isn't aren't those fish what's keeping the sort of thing open? He sort of teleported us to the front door, so I don't think he cares. Oh, that's a good point. No, maybe for other people, though. She shrugs. I mean, the front door also does bathe you in a acid whirlpool of things, so... Well... Yeah... I think we're getting distracted. A, we are, A we single are. piece of jewellery, uh, or a fish in this case, may have a value of a uh, specific, yes? But... It is what I could learn from such a thing that is of real value, not the item itself. And uh, I think I have learned what I can from those things. Hmm. Speaking of which, did you ever figure out what was up with those gems? Which ones in particular? The coral? It's, it's gemstones? Gems. Crystals? Oh, like all the ones we found and said we were going to deal with later? Oh yeah, we, it's definitely later. We definitely haven't dealt with that yet, have we? What gemstones? When when we're out on missions, I was just the ones you tried to steal. Also, those ones, yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean this? I have been working on this. <laughs> I opened the the gem, the gem box, after. presenting a um, arrangement of finely cut and polished gemstones. Christ, oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah, How much? That is that is nice. How much are they worth now? Out of uh, curiosity. <laughs> just looks at wise like just, be more happy. just wondering, just <laughs> idly. <you know>. <laughs> <laughs> no particular reason. She says, shuffling a little bit closer. Oh yeah, yeah. If I tell you this, wise, I have increased the value of each gem by two hundred and fifty gold. <gasps> oh. I think her heart stopped for a second. Oh, After God. all the money we've Going made. Going for sainthood. Going for sainthood. <laughs> well, Saint yeah. Hint. That isn't like that was. Uh, don't kill my dream. It's fine. I'm, I'm not. No, I'm. I'm a turned woman. Oh, that is. Weren't you? <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Just learning like a week ago from a sneaky stabby fella. <clears throat> that is getting, for in the field. To it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Get back to it. Yeah. Plus, I don't know if the person who's chasing a third god is in any position to judge. <laughs> uh -huh. Exactly. It's, it's scandalous for a different particular reason. Anyways. What are we doing? Oh, um... Breakfast. Not currently, he means for the future. <laughs> he eyes Acker, who's, like, grabbed a pie, like, a meat pie, except it's not, like, the size of, like, a normal hand pie. It's, like, a meat pie the size of, like... A pie? Like... Thanksgiving pumpkin pie. Lord, that's a lot of pie. Are we talking and he Costco eats it. size? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Breakfast aside, what are we doing? Well, I yeah, recently heard breakfast. a very interesting. <laughs> Second breakfast. Third. Um, I recently heard a very interesting rumor. You might be interested in Russian. I think I've already told you guys, but. I'm not. Yeah, I'm out of game. I'm not sure how. If you guys just dropped every rumor. Quest you guys have had just from the get-go like already or if like you guys just sort of br bring up one at a time it's up to you guys to decide that but i'm just there's no one way or the other set as of right now there has been an escalation in the flowers and the notes but uh my stance on that has not changed Oh, flowers on the I'm being threatened still, so I shall stay close to you, yes? Yeah, that should be... Oh, 
Yeah, the flower that. Hey. Mid- oh, what like happened last time? Lots. Yeah. Oh Christ. Yeah. The- there is. Yeah, you, a- you weren't there for that. I got a game. You you weren't there. All oh, right. For- yeah. You were. You were. That you're was the main control. The yeah, but didn't he? Um. He got. He, he got, got one. You got a little supposed- jolt when you were present. Yeah, but yeah. You, you weren't there for when to. he actually got the notes or the flowers. You saw, you saw the effects, not the cause. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know that it's like flowers and notes and stuff. I mean, I mean they get told you. I, I feel like you guys did, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Not much okay. reason to keep that one secret. <laughs> be a bit annoyed if you did. I'd be like. Yeah. There seems to be a a dagger in the crypt. Sounds like a magical item of some kind, but I don't feel like playing errand boy for some uh, masked figure. I do not know who they are. When I do not know what this tiger could be, so rather than I don't know, it doesn't matter. I just uh, you should know. Hmm. But we have to for future reference. Down the line, something is bound to happen, and at that time, I will need your help. But for now, I would rather do something else. What? <laughs> Nothing. Sir, sir, sir. What does that say? Sir Isla. Ah. Oh, is that her last name? That, as people have last names, yes. Oh, okay. I well, I, that, I didn't know what it was. For some reason, I thought that was, like, an action. <laughs> so I was just like, what are you... Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> it's Italian. Italian. Ah. Uh-huh. Anyways. You can't speak Italian just because you have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, okay, you guys want to hear a, a racist joke real quick? D- Should I stop it? the recording? <laughs> nah, that's fine. Okay. All right, so there are three spies. You know, they're, ca- they're captured by, you know, the Nazis. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's it the Nazis? There are three spies. <laughs> They're captured. There is a British one, a French one, and an Italian one. All right. So they take the French one. They tie him up in the interrogation room. They beat him up, and then he eventually cracks and speaks. All right. Mm-hmm. They drop him back in the same cell as the other two spies. They take the British spy afterwards. You know, they go back to the interrogation room, tie up his hands, his arms. You know, beat him up, and he lasts a bit longer than the French one, but he too eventually cracks and you know spills the beans. They drop him back in the cell. They grab the Italian one. They bring him over, tie up his his uh, arms and legs, and you know, like same deal as the other ones. And then they beat him up. Hours pass. Eventually, the day ends, and the their captors dump him back in the cell. The other two spies frustrated, and the other two spies could tell that he didn't spill. And they're like, "But well, how did you? How did you do it? How come you didn't? How come you didn't speak to? Him? How come you didn't tell him? You know." What do you want to know? You look absolutely terrible. And then he says, you know, that's because of the tied of my hands. And you could see me doing the <laughs> oh, expression. Oh. <laughs> he couldn't speak at all. <laughs> that's awful. I love it. That's your guys' racist joke. <laughs> they tied up my hands. <laughs> they tied up my hands. And it's better in person where you could see me do the, the, the stereotypical Italian. <laughs> thing. <laughs> It took like half a second to click in my head. I was like, oh. Now you guys have a bit dying. of an expanded, uh, you know, European banter slash racism. Oops. Oh, I love it. <laughs> For a second, I couldn't tell if Kirsty was laughing or crying. I think it was both. 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 Just both. That's the same. <laughs> there was definitely sobbing in there at one point. Uh, oh, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah. So that's, that's my quick racist interjection. Uh... Just a death. <laughs> what were we even talking about? Uh, you guys are talking about uh, jobs to do. So let's mm. get back to that. So, what'd you hear in that rumor? Me? <clears throat> Me? Um, okay, yes. so, Me. I was at Craggy's, is it? Craggy's? Anyway, yeah. yeah. I was Craggy's at Craggy's with... Yeah, I was at Craggy's place <laughs> with Mantis. We were doing we training, you know, we are just sort of chilling afterwards. And there was this guy oh, who has wow. been like... What? Nothing. Training mm. and chill. Sips mimosa, looking away. Where's it happening? You? So you're chilling with uh, at Craig's place. Go on. 
<laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, this. so we're... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're, there's, it wasn't just me and him, okay? There's a whole group of us just sort of chilling, whatever. Oh, Christ. And oh, then my. this guy comes uh -huh. in. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Let me tell the story. Uh, this guy comes in and he's got... There's this, there's this rumour sort of spreading... <laughs> <laughs> you don't see that. That's out of game. That's out of game. Ignore it. It's out of game. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's just actually I'm just gonna quickly pull up. Before you, I... you can read it word for word if you want. I don't know. Because I, I think you guys have actually literally already caught. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> at this point, there's no point in me saying. I'm... Yeah, so apparently he said that, having heard it from a wayset way guard, there's a scoring ken dressed in bone and hide, asking for a further description. It seems that the scoring ken was one of the astral beast ones that we apparently killed. So I don't know exactly what happened, but there's something roaming around that looks okay, like Okay, who the did not double tap? Uh -huh. <laughs> you hear Varric? You hear Varric? <laughs> not me. I wasn't there, so... I could have turned off. Back. I mean, just I mean, leans back. Not me. Well, I'm pretty sure they were all dead when yep. we left. Yeah, Roshan cut off every single one of the Ficker's heads. So he wasn't he there. Exactly. He, 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 asked, he literally cut off. Yep. Like, literally. Yeah. I remember it. It was very disgusting. I had so, a bit of a mini sick. It was Did you guys, like, look over to where Roshan, you know, like, on the other ends of the, the pavilion, you know, like, like Starbucks mm. Cafe style. Mm. You look over there and he's not there anymore. Oh! Crazy sneaky. You know, for he's a guy so... that big, he what? is sneaky as shit. <laughs> <clears throat> Out of game, oh, I had to take a walk somewhere, so. Fair enough. Uh. But, anyways, yeah, really? so it wasn't one that we were in a fight with. It was one, if it was, it was off from the group in the first place. Perhaps. I mean, it's just it's just what I've heard. It's sort of he said, she said, blah, 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 blah. Nevertheless, well, we might want to. Need I do so not. I, I, I do not like leaving the things undone. Hey. Neither do I. Think I. I say we find <clears throat> Russian and we make sure these fuckers are dead. Yeah, we should maybe even try tracking down the guard that apparently saw it as well, or who the guy I met said because he heard it from the guard. He said, she said. Well, you have met the guy, wise. When will you introduce him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know him. She, I'm rubbing off on all of you, and I love. That's not a good thing. <laughs> oh it's my god! Thing. I'm Are not the thirsty one. Thing. It is Sandra's the thirsty one. <laughs> I don't have to well, try anymore for these jokes. Deal. I just get to sit back and relax. <laughs> oh. You know what? Fuck you guys! I'm gonna go out and find the bloody scoring kid myself. <laughs> no, no, no! Last time we did that, you got no, no, stay. <laughs> but in all seriousness, though, even if it isn't. One of your guys's, whatever their cults going can. Mm. Yeah. If people hear about the rumor, mm. yeah. I know it's not it's not exactly good for us. It's bad. So going like to, to check it. again is also not a good thing. But you'd rather do that and just come back and be like it was a fake versus you know, just not doing it out. and then the rumor still spreads and then everyone's like, hmm. Are they actually you know, doing their job? Exactly. Well, just go in the woods, more than a rumor, if there stumble. is other things afoot, then I would rather deal with that than have it in our backyard. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if that thing, if it is a scoring kit, and if it comes too close to town, that's going to be dangerous. And, uh, this I, mean, I don't think the way set guard, how far did he even go into the woods? Uh, you don't know. As of right now, construct road construction efforts have been going. Like, they have gone a good chunk away from town. Obviously, different teams go at different speeds, geography, and stuff like or actual literal creatures in the way, mm -hmm. stuff like that, impedes your speed. For this particular team, you don't know. For any particular team, you don't know. It's not like, yeah, it's all teams have advanced exactly five miles out. It's not like that. It's basically okay. go as far as you can, as quick as you can. As safely as according you can. To, according to, you know, roadmap uh, architecture. Okay. Uh, the fellow you were talking well, to, did he have to give any description of what the <clears throat> the person looks like or which group he works with? Uh, give me a second, because I literally uh, just Romy, a fellow uh, heard. Uh, Romy, why is your... I guess persuasion would probably be the uh, biggest kicker as you inquire about this. 
Hey! Ooh. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Okay. You followed up on the call it some initiative. Uh you followed up on the rumor a good bit, and you're able to actually like sort of pinpoint down which road team and like which direction that road team is current like went and is currently going, because obviously they aren't just gonna switch teams stuff like that. You know where to find the guy. But that's mm -hmm. uh, how the shtick works with these road construction teams and they're recording um I guess perimeter watch where you said guardsmen is that they don't they leave town during the day, they come then they go back out, and eventually at some point they'll have to make outposts and stuff like that. But for the time being, they go out during the day or the morning, and then they come, and then they drop the spill of beans about what they saw or didn't see, and how boring it was, stuff like that. So you know which road to follow, the road in progress to follow. To okay. Go, go to the. <clears throat> also, you guys know where the Astro Scorn can work because you killed them and uh -huh. went that direction to kill them, so you have an idea of where it would have been. Okay. I feel like that. It feels like it should have been a little obvious. <clears throat> well, I didn't say necessarily that the Astral Scorn Ken was at the place where you guys last killed them. Hmm. I, I didn't say that. It could have been somewhere else. But uh, it, it was in that direction. So let me just okay. confirm that for you. Brilliant. Well, in that case, it was in that direction. <laughs> it just points off in a direction. It's Imagine <laughs> like... Um... Here, I'll, I'll move you guys over here. Ooh, nifty. Just for like just a, just a quick reference, like um, if we imagine like you know this is tab, well that's that's extra large. But if we imagine that's Drip Cooper's extra. Bay. There's probably like a you know from the Northern Gate, so many routes out the you know, other gate, so many routes out, blah blah blah. And it's basically like oh, freaking just uh, change color here. Just follow this one, lol. Easy. That's basically what you're doing. Okay. You're not wandering into the woods, woods. You're just following a road. A road that ends damn quickly, but a road nonetheless. Alright, well, it gives us a starting point at least, right? It's something to work with. Yeah. And, like we said, I'd rather check it out and be wrong than leave it alone and it, you know, ends up being a second clan that we didn't know. You know? Yeah, that, that would not look very good for us at all. Not uh, in the how slightest. How far out do you think that goes? Uh, it can't be too far, right? Well, I mean, they're coming back at the end of the night, so hmm. it should be walkable or cartable, whatever cartable. you want to call it. Horse rideable. You know, in a cart. <laughs> Horse rideable. It's, it's yeah. more along the lines of a cart because they do bring the materials with them day by day. Hey. Yeah. Oh shit! What? Yeah, you know, the materials, do forestry, stuff like that. Or deforestry, I guess, suppose. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, it can't be more than a few hours, at the very least. Fingers crossed. 